Hey, it's Tori, and welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I keep hearing about Bambi Thug. Now, of course, I do know that Eurovision Song Contest has been and gone and the winner has been announced, but this is the entrant for Ireland and there's been a lot of uproar, if you will, because she shows a bit more like paganistic things within her performance or something. I really don't know too much about it. I did mean to get to this like closer to the date that it came out but unfortunately the official video from Eurovision itself on YouTube was blocked in my country so I've had to wait for somebody to like re-upload it on their channel. So finally we're going to be checking out the live performance of Doomsday Blue. I am going into this pretty blind. Uh, I don't really know much about Bambi Thug other than that she has paganistic values. So yeah, without further ado, let's just dive right in and check this song out together. That went in a totally different direction than I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to just like dive straight into more heaviness, but instead she totally like lightened it up a lot. I did actually get goosebumps when this first started, like just from the whole theatrics of her performance, but then also her voice. There's just something about it. I, I know you're living alive. I, I guess you're right. That's cool. The visuals in this are insane. They're truly making up for the song. You know, the, the song is great. It's not really my style, but like, you then you add in that theatrics and like how she was doing the effects on with the candles and going around in the circle like she was lighting them up. And it definitely, definitely has those witchy, pagan-esque feelings to it. You know, I can see why people would get upset by this. People get offended so easily these days, but the whole performance is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I do love her voice. I'm not quite sure about the chorus though. Like when it lightens up. <laughs> I don't know, it might just take me a few listens.
Now this, this I can get absolutely down with. I love how it went more like drum and bass dancing then it had those like rock metal elements over it and then that metal scream that she did or was doing before I interrupted it but we'll go back so we can go back into that. Also um the blue pink and white flag I know that's part of the LGBTQ plus community I just can't think right now off the top of my head which flag that is for. I will look it up when we get done. So I did look up the colours of the flag, I have seen it before, I just could not quite remember which part of the community it stood for and it represents the trans community. I know that Bambi Thug is themselves non-binary so I'm not sure where that connects in with them or anything like that, I mean it doesn't really matter, it's just cool that they chose to represent that, you know, in such a a big stage like this and the production level on this was crazy from the only thing I didn't particularly enjoy throughout the song was just that chorus but I think as the more I listen to it the more I'll get used to it and grow to like it. I think the rest of the song is absolutely fantastic but I myself am a metalhead so I tend to gravitate towards that more heavier feeling within the music because I feel like it pushes the emotion a little bit more but yeah I people getting all up in arms about this is, is ridiculous you know I saw on um like she was on a talk show I'm not quite sure which one like she went to go and clear up a few things and, and she was saying of course how uh our country's England and Ireland, they used to be paganistic before the Christians and the Catholics came over. Like, we were a very paganistic country. Um, so she's just taking it back to the roots of that. I'm not quite sure what the, um, like, the devil-looking character represented. I'm sure you guys will let me don't know down in the comments. I don't know if that was, like, a particular pagan god or something like that. But again, I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments, but performance-wise, this was insane. I don't know where she came, she, sorry, they came in the um, Eurovision Song Contest. I don't personally follow it. I never really have. It's not really my thing. And also just because my country always like gets a, a shitty vote anyway, I don't even know why we participate. But yeah, I liked it. Uh, chorus definitely needs getting used to. But don't forget to like and subscribe to become a Torian. Speaking of becoming a Torian, all of my social media links and my Discord link are down in the description. We'd absolutely love to have you come hang out in the Discord community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on.